Moi moi. Okay, so we are on a ship. Uh, we're heading from Helsinki towards Stockholm. And uh, I haven't been on this particular ship before. This is the Cilia Line and uh, pretty cool. And we've uh, checking in was quite busy. There's lots of people and uh, and uh, you have to line up so I didn't bother to film anything there. But we've checked in now, we've got our bags in the room. Now we're finding a bar. Here's the map. Where are we? We are here. We'll see where we go. That's the thing with these ships is you have these obscure maps and you have to figure out where we are and we have no idea. Okay, so I think we found the right place to go. This is inside the ship. Got some restaurants and bars, got even live music. Ooh, where are we going? Sunday. Let's head up to the sun deck. Ah, this one. Okay, this is the sun deck. Pretty windy up here. Oh my god. Check that out. It's really windy up here. Let's see if we can find uh, the sun deck. Somewhere we can maybe grab a beer. Oh, windy! Okay, I think we found the bar. It's pretty quiet at the moment. We have a nice, a nice view though. That view. Nothing but ocean out there. This is some kind of a nightclub, um, which will probably be on later. Um, but at the moment, no. Still, no drinks yet. Pretty cool. Head down to the bar. Yeah, it's so windy out there on the deck. Come on, you. you. The thing about these ships is oh, they really are a. Um, they really are like a maze and uh, they're not easy to to get around so you have to get to know the ship so we went to the wrong place and uh, now we're going down from level 12 down to level 8 so down we go I saw it over there. I saw it. Yeah. I know where to go. Sato always thinks that she knows, but actually I know where to go. We 
have some shops and you have some uh, restaurants and bars and now we find the sea pub okay so here we see they have the lapping gulda and the jägermeister 1090 I think this is probably one of the only pubs here. The, the level 8 one is outside. Oh, maybe there is another one. Okay, now we're down here at the back of the ship. Check this out. These engines really power this along. We're going quite quickly, heading straight to Stockholm. Okay, now we find a nice bar and uh, we might have a look at the other one, but uh, we did work out that uh, this one is actually a bar. So if the other one isn't very good, this one okay so we'll look at the other one and then see what that one looks like and maybe come back okay we're back at the car at the deck at the back cargo ship away from the uh, to be away from the wind there's no wind here <laughs> I have to say this is the cilia line if uh, you're traveling with the uh, uh, Viking lines they probably have a better deck uh, the cilia line at the back there's not much of a deck uh, to enjoy a beer I know in the Viking line it's a little bit bigger and you have a larger deck and uh, you can uh, have a bar up there and enjoy your beer and look at the view whereas this one is a little bit quiet Whereas the Viking line has a bigger deck at the back, the uh, cilia is a little bit smaller. But uh, we're in the room now and uh, getting ready for bed. It's a little bit rocky outside uh, in the ocean. You can feel the, the boat swaying around a little bit so we don't have much of a large room i got some beers i haven't even wanted to drink them and a little bit of uh they call this goskin gorva vodka i'll save that for later a pretty small uh, bathroom and toilet i have a shower here as you can see i'll see if i can show you how much the boat is actually rocking by the water. Let's see if you can see it. Uh, you probably can't see it, they're too much. And they tell us that we can actually, we can drink that water. So, um, yeah, pretty basic is our little room here. And, um, 
so yeah all good and tomorrow uh, we're going to have a day in Stockholm so that should be fun I've got a couple of things we'll do there uh, so join us for that and hopefully tonight with the swaying of the boat uh, ship we can get some sleep so let's see good, good night Okay, it's morning on the Cilia Line ship. Uh, we slept pretty well here, actually. Even though the boat was rocking, we had a bit of rough sea. The weather has been quite uh, uh, windy in the uh, Baltic Sea. Even though it's not uh, a, a rough part of the ocean, it was a bit rocky. You could really feel it. It felt like I was drunk, but I wasn't drunk. Uh, so we slept pretty well, and now we're in Stockholm. We're going to have a look at uh, a coffee on the ship and then we're going to head out. So start the day. Let's go! Just wow, look at this view, huh? Absolutely breathtaking. Really, really, really nice view. We sat out here, had a couple of beers. Great. And uh, I think the Cilia line has redeemed itself on the second day. I uh, didn't really have a good impression of it on the first, uh, first day that we got on the ship. But uh, on the second day, going back to Finland now, it's come good. It's all right. We've had the sun deck open up and we uh, were able to enjoy the sun deck out here when we got on the ship we couldn't we couldn't uh, enjoy the sun deck it was pretty much closed it was really windy uncomfortable but uh, today it's good so uh, yeah on the second day the cilia line perhaps a bit of redemption okay so but look at this view really amazing we're leaving stockholm sweden now we're heading towards helsinki really nice it was uh, scheduled to be raining it's not raining we have the Sun out so pretty uh, pretty happy all good onward to Helsinki we go. Well I have to say that the Cilia line has uh, redeemed itself eventually. Um, on the second day it's come good. It's a nice, uh, it's been a nice experience. Uh, just look at that beautiful Swedish archipelago here. It's been really nice. I must admit that uh, my first impressions on getting on this ship weren't the best. There actually is a lot of kids and there does seem to be a little bit more of a children's program uh, as opposed to like adults wanting to have fun as in um, the outdoor bar was closed as we got on and it um, just didn't give me a good impression but it's, uh, it has come good so if you ever travel with this line I would recommend that uh, you give it uh, the, the second day is ideal. We had the outdoor bar that was open and that was cool. And uh, it's been relatively quite comfortable and the staff have been very nice. So uh, yeah, can't complain actually. I'm pretty happy and uh, fantastic view. And we've just had great weather here in Sweden. So it's, um, I'm, I'm really pleased by it. So the ship looks like it's actually turning. Look at that. We are fully turning around. Ah, Holland. We are in Holland. It's turning. 
pretty cool. Wow. Pretty cool. I, that's the other ship. That's the Viking line. I probably prefer the Viking line. Um, oh, that's, that one's closed. That's really cool. Look at that. We are fully turning around. Okay, maybe we see better from the other side. We'll head over there. It's uh, quite late. It's uh, quarter to 12 finish time. But uh, we are not tired, so let's see what's happening. Oh, they have karaoke up there. <laughs> See if we can get a little bit of a better view without being behind this plastic here. There's the moon. Okay. Let's see what's happening over here in Holland. Seems to be the place to see to view from. Okay, let's see. Maybe we're docking into the shore. It's a big engine up there. To, uh, you wouldn't want to be coming in too hard or you'll crash. waiting uh, to get on and uh, Sato says the spot on Holland isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, very close now. I'm using it in. different view from over here. And, uh, we're still in Sweden here. Docked into a new area, pick up some new passengers, and then we move on to the next place. 
which is Helsinki. So uh, we've left the uh, Swedish archipelago and now we're heading uh, th through the Baltic Sea back towards Helsinki, Finland and a nice view here. And uh, that's about as dark as it's going to get for now. Uh, because it's uh, about midnight, it's after midnight finish time and uh, yeah, it's just nice to be out here just to really appreciate um, you know being out on a ship and a boat like this I really love it it's not a boat it's a ship um, but you know I really love it it's cool admiring the uh, captain's uh, driving of this ship because uh, we really just went through the narrowest of um, corridor between rocks so in the Swedish and Finnish archipelago there's a lot of rocks and you're really close to them so you know they must really know where they're going and what they're doing so I really admire that they, they're, they're experts it's really cool look at that ocean gonna probably off get off to sleep and uh, have a bit of sleep before the morning and breakfast and some coffee and arrive in the, to uh, Finland again